Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Jamaican cow foot, and I'm gonna be serving it with a side of rice and peas. That video is already posted, so if you wanna know how to make that, then go ahead and check that out on my channel. But today I'm going to be showing you exactly how I prepare the cow foot portion of this dish. We're using some classic flavors in this dish, like a scotch bonnet pepper, some scallion, thyme, and those sorts of ingredients, and one thing you'll find is that the preparation and the cooking of cow foot is very, very similar to oxtail. I can't wait to show you guys how to make it. So if you wanna know how I make this cow foot, then please keep watching. So the first step is you're gonna to wanna to wash the cow foot. Scrape off all of those burnt parts, wash it, clean it, and when you're ready, get it in a silver basin. And now we're ready to actually start seasoning the cow foot. Now I'm gonna put my pressure cooker on high heat and add some oil. Also, I'm gonna add some brown sugar. When your sugar starts to sizzle up like this, throw in your meat. This is browning the cow foot.
In here I have my butter beans, I have a whole white onion, some scallion and thyme and green onion, and then I have about half of a carrot julienne and a whole tomato sliced. So all of these seasonings are gonna go inside with the cow foot. So after about 40 minutes of boiling up with the rest of the seasonings, this is what we have. The gravy is nice and thick now. If you want, depending on how thick you like your gravy, you can let it boil down some more. But for me, this is perfect. The cow foot's nice and soft. And I think we're ready for a taste test. So now we're both ready to do the taste test. Right texture, nice and gluey. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about cow food. It's always nice and you know, full of glamity. You know, give me the glamity. <laughs> okay guys, that was the video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and I hope that you learned something from it as well. As always, please be sure to leave your comments, your questions, concerns you have down below in the comment section. I absolutely love hearing your feedback, so if you have any for me, definitely leave them down below. The full recipe is going to be in the description bar. I always forget to say this part, but make sure you check the description bar because the full recipe will always be in there in case you missed something in the video or something wasn't clear. So check that out if you have any questions specifically regarding the recipe. So please subscribe to my channel. I really try to post about two videos a week. So if you're interested in learning more about cooking and techniques and recipes and little tips and tricks, then please check out my channel and make sure you are a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.